Okay, everybody, before we get into this tutorial, something super exciting to tell you. We have a brand new game out called Rumble Runner. You're going to love it. It's got some really cool mechanics, great gameplay, very fast paced, lots of good fun to be had here. Check it out in the map code on the screen and down below. And let's get into this tutorial that you guys have all come here to learn. Okay, everybody, we are in for a bit of a treat on this one because it's easy, simple, and fast. We are going to gather up some sewer bucks. If you haven't seen this tutorial, it is linked below. Getting currency, our own custom currency. We collect these collectibles, we get 50. We also get some for our 10 second timer that goes by. And we're gonna head into the weapon shop and we're gonna grab a weapon from this lady. Now, what we wanna do today is control the creature spawner. So we'll get a weapon and we'll see what happens. And right there, We've got ourselves a dude that has come out to get us. So let's take him down. And that's it. He's taken down and we get a thousand super bucks. Look at how many super bucks we have now. It's insane. So let's learn how to do that in verse and head over to UAFN. Okay, as usual, we are inside of UAFN and I am inside the little cabin. And the thing that I've added in is this creature. This is a creature placer device, which you can find down in the devices Fortnite in your content browser and just look for creature. And inside of here, you got the creature manager, creature placer and creature spawner. Now I've used a creature placer, uh, but they're all kind of the same. If you want to know how the others work, let me know. But the creature placer places a creature here. And the only thing that we want to do is we want to set the enable on game phase to be never. So essentially what's going to happen is that we get to plant a creature in here, but we're going to control when it spawns. So we don't want it to spawn automatically. So just put enabled on game phase to never. Once you've done that, we're pretty much done everything that we need to do here in UFN that is different from the currency tutorial. So definitely check that one out first. Okay, let's wander over to Verse. Okay, so we're inside of Verse. We've added in a couple of things. One is the creature. I've made it an editable, so it's creature one in case I wanna add more, I'll add more. You could call this creature cabin or creature mountaintop, whatever. And it is a creature placer device. We place the creature and we're going to do a couple of things on this creature spawner. The first thing we're going to do is listen for the eliminated event. So here in our on begin, when the game begins, we we'll go creature one dot eliminated event, subscribe on creature eliminated, which is our own custom function, which lives right here. Very simple. Most of this code is a copy from the other functions that we have where we give money to the player. But a couple changes. First is the creature eliminated method passes in a possible agent, so questionable. We don't know if it's an actual character. So we have to discover whether or not that's an actual agent. The easiest way to do that is just set a variable here, colon equals, and then the name of the variable that we passed in here to the method with a question mark at the end. If this is an actual agent, and if this is a player object, and if, now I'm doing this in three rows to make it easy to understand, you can do this all in one row. If the player object is in the player's map and we can assign custom player to it, then give some cash. And we're using elimination value, which is a new constant variable, which lives up here. And elimination value is an integer. I put the value at a thousand. So every time I kill a creature, I get a thousand super bucks. And then the last thing we wanna do is go down to our on weapon button. And when we, when we have that button work on the girl, which is right here, it's a button that we interact with. If we have enough cash, we get a weapon. So when we interact with that, on weapon button gets called and we do some stuff, right? We grant the weapon. And then right after that, we're gonna call creature one dot spawn. And what that will do is it'll spawn a creature immediately uh, when we get the weapon because, well, they don't want us to have a weapon. So he's gonna try to knock us out before we can shoot him. But got a pretty powerful weapon and it was really no problem to do. And so that's it. That's how you can use the creature spawner with verse to add a little bit of interactive uh, behaviors into your game so that when you do a thing, you can make a creature do something and show up and then you're like, oh no, there's a creature coming and then run off and do whatever you want. You know, if he's gonna come out, we could take him out. Or you might just live inside of the cabin. There he is. He looks like he's doing something in there. He's beating the place up. So let's take him out and save our fair maiden right here so she can sell more guns to everybody else. Anyhow, hopefully that's been interesting. If you guys have any questions, let me know anytime. Any requests that you have, let me know. And I will see you guys in the next one.
bring the band in. Sitting as a vet, but everybody know that you're a threat with a restless.